sense of things hoped for, and hope is not, in that time was not the same word that it is today. Hope in that time had a stronger implication of that which was going to be brought to pass. Today hope is kind of a wishy word we use. We hope for something, but in the Greek it was something that was stable brought about by faith. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not, feet, uh, not seen. Uh, faith is action. All of these people in the 11th chapter, they put forth action. They heard God and they obeyed. They just didn't hear it and say, man, that's good, that's wonderful. I'm going to get rich, I'm going to get famous, I'm going to... And we know that life shows that that leaves people empty. Fame and fortune and the riches of this world <coughs> leave people empty. It, it, it leaves them, if they live to be 150 <coughs> years, what for? If you can't live to 27 with any value of life, how is life going to get any more valuable living in the old age? Yes. I'd hate to be in this age that I'm in without hope. Amen. And without God in this present world. But the people acted upon the word of God. So faith is action based on belief. What do we believe? We didn't believe that God sent anybody to destroy Oswell, Norway. He didn't send the Roman crusaders to cut off people's heads. He sent his word to tell us of a new world to come. Yes. Amen. He said it was to be confirmed with the children of the house of Israel. But Lord, if this bread is only for the children of the house of Israel, what are we going to eat on? What are we going to eat on? Well, we, we, the crumbs fall from the table. If the children of Israel by nature were cut off, how much more valuable is the branch that is grafted in? Well, Lord, well, just give me the crumbs off of the table. Because in those crumbs are the promises of God. Amen. The house of Israel were identified by circumcision. Glory to God. Now listen to what it is said. These all having obtained a good report through faith received not the promise. Hallelujah. That these all having obtained a good report. Glory to God. You want God to give you a good report? Learn how to walk by faith. How do you get faith? Faith cometh by hearing, hearing the word of God. When you hear what God promised you and you act upon it, glory to God. That doesn't mean that you're going to have Cadillacs and Lincolns and furs and diamonds and go here and yonder and have the greatest ministry in the world. And We've got some of the most screwed up ministers in the world in America. Amen. They all blow a different bugle. They all make it a different sound. Amen. They don't tell you to read this book. They say, buy my book. Let me write your book. And, well, read the book. Glory to God. You don't need to go get another book. It says it right there. Jesus came to minister to the house of circumcision. And Paul said that uh, all these having obtained a good report through faith received not the promise. God having provided some better thing for us, that they without us shall not be made perfect. Hallelujah. Look at it. What is that? The least 
one in the kingdom of God is greater than John the Baptist. Why? John the Baptist from this bunch in the 11th chapter of the big book of Hebrews. They could come up so far, not any further. Because they had the baptism of John and they had the law. Well, but, but, wait a minute, you got the law and the prophet, but they won't hear the law and the prophet. Well, if they won't hear the law and the prophet, they're not going to have somebody come up from the dead. Right. Amen? Yes. So whenever they have this great good report, but having not received the promise, God having provided some better thing for us, that they without us should not be made perfect. Jesus said of his cousin, first cousin, six months older than he, the least one in the <coughs> kingdom of God is greater than you, John the Baptist. Glory to God. Why? Well, what's he talking about? A better thing for us, yet we are so <coughs> conjoined, so attached together, you can't have one without the other. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob cannot enter into the promise without those that are brought in. It's conjoined. What did it say? The without us should not be made perfect. Hallelujah. Romans 15 and 8 said it to confirm the promises made unto the Father. Now, George Washington, Jefferson, uh, Benjamin Franklin, all those people are gathered together there in Philadelphia, and they wrote these documents down. They made promises to our children. That, that they, they made promises to our heirs. They said this foundation, this Constitution is the foundation for an idea. That's all America is, is an idea. Not ideal, but an idea in your head. That's all they got there, and they got together, and they, they formed this great government, and they had an idea. They said that it's a possibility if man is given the, 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 the right, if man is given an opportunity, man can govern himself. Yes. Yes. Amen. Did, did you know that that's what God said to Adam and Eve in the garden? If you will do what I tell you to do, you can govern yourself. Everything belongs to you. Amen. Amen. I found in Father said that the idea is that if you give people liberty, they can govern themselves. They will be responsible enough to know how valuable life is, but only if they look at it through the eyes of the Creator. Yes. Amen. Without God, you can't do it. <coughs> Without God, you kill one another, you bitter one another, you hate one another, you lie to one another, you cheat one another. Uh, uh, you do all uh, of these things. Why? Because uh, of not being responsible with the liberty that you've been given. Yes. So what happened then? It's taken away. Amen. Hey, well, we're free in America. No, the only way you're free in America is say, wait just a minute. My founding father told me this is mine and I'm going to pray in school. I'm going to pray wherever I want to. You, you're not, I'm not talking about being a radical nut. No, no right. wonder the world is turning. There, there are too many radical Oswald, uh, 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 Oslo, Norway. Glory to God. All right. To confirm the promises made unto the fathers. Acts the third chapter and the 26th verse. Acts the third chapter and the 26th verse. 